tell me about your business. Cool. So uh, we basically help Stripe customers build better payments intelligence and payments optimization models. We help them understand the payments in more detail. So figure out what's your acceptance rate, what's your dispute rate, and go deeper into what customers are, what kind of customers are paying for you, how much is your revenue. And then if they need help, we basically plug in our customized models, which go in and say like, okay, for your business, how do we actually increase your revenue by reducing false declines and reducing fraud at the same time? Yeah. And what was the main driver of this idea and the inspiration behind it? What problem were, was the main problem you were looking to solve? Oh, basically a lot of uh, fraud prevention providers, they block too much revenue to prevent fraud. We're trying to bring balance to the force. Say like, okay, you need to protect defend yourself from fraud, but if you're giving up 20% of your payments to do that, that's not a good balance. That doesn't help you. So maybe bring it down to 10% blocks and like 0.5% fraud, that's okay. Don't worry too much about fraud. We'll help you with that. And um, tell us more about how you use Stripe today and some of the challenges you faced. Oh, the challenges are very little bit because Stripe is kind of, it has the most sophisticated data schema in terms of payments globally. And so that's, I'm essentially a champion for Stripe. I ask customers to get onto Stripe so we can give them more data, better data and better models. That's something we're exploring in Japan right now. We're trying to work with the banks to say like, you guys want to up-level your software and infrastructure. Let's use Stripe as the orchestration layer there. And we get all the data we need and then we can help you build all the solutions you need on top of that. Stripe offers so many features, I like data features, not like features features, uh, for us to build better models and give you more intelligence to go with. Challenges are, there are always challenges in terms of niche things to build out. We're like, okay, how do we optimize the API usage? How do we make sure that the webhooks trigger in time? How do we optimize inference so it's below 100 milliseconds? Because that's very important for the customer so that we don't block transactions. Yeah. And I have to ask, what is the motivation behind Corgi Labs, the name? Oh, cool. Uh, yeah, so it's, we meant to keep it light and simple. Uh, like most fraud prevention providers and payments providers are very serious. So we're like, okay, let's keep it simple and memorable. But the Corgi is actually a backronym. It stands for Clustering Optimized Rule Generation Intelligence. And I just love pixelated art, like 16-bit stuff. So that's where the logo comes from, yeah. And where can people go to find out more information? Uh, the Stripe App Marketplace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or corgilabs.ai, wherever you want to go. But uh, on Stripe App Marketplace, it's literally plug and play. You click install, you get to dashboard within four hours, perennially, then up there, and then Within two weeks, we'll let you know if you're eligible for the model. We don't want to dupe our customers by saying like, we'll give a model for everyone. A certain sample size is needed to basically be effective. So we'll be very honest, like we can help you to a certain degree, but we won't charge you for the model because conference intervals will be too large.